I told my nail tech she could do whatever she wanted to with my nails because I had to get these babies done. So I went to my girl Crystal again and it was so weird having short nails for five seconds. But she got started and she was using a lot of crazy colors that I would never use on myself. And I was getting really curious because I wanted to see what she was doing but I had no idea. And she was adding all these gems and chrome and everything. And then finally she's done and they're so beautiful. I'm so glad I asked her to do this because I would never get these myself. My fiancé may die. Oh. His sister wants half of our house if he passes. My fiancé was in a car accident about a week ago. He has a 50-50 chance of surviving, though things have started to look up. His sister is also his birth mother. She got pregnant at 13 and his grandparents adopted him. So legally, she is his sister. Whoa. She has never had any involvement in his life. His adoptive parents died three years ago. My fiancé and I have two children together and own a house. We have been together since we were 13 and are getting married this October. Our house is nearly paid off and I can't afford to pay half of the house equity to her by myself. I have no idea what to do or if she even has a stake in the house. He is 23 and does not have a will. In love with my friend's wife. Before any judgment, please let me explain. I, 28 male, grew up with three good friends. We've been friends since we were like eight years old. Let's call them John, Steve, Sean. Steve had a 20 and 22. Unfortunately, John passed away from cancer three years ago. This was horrible for everyone, especially Mary, of course. We were all friends, as I am close to her too. I lost one of my best friends since I was a kid in such a horrible way. Mary and John lived in a different state than me, and pretty much everyone just lives in different places. Four years ago, I found a job in the same state as them. It's like 40 minutes away from their house, so I would visit often and was there during John's worst moments. Now, for the past year, I think Mary and I grew closer. I really wouldn't know how to explain it since we have all been close, but it just feels different. She has not dated anyone since John died. She even confessed around eight months ago she hasn't even kissed or slept with anyone else that she just didn't feel attracted to anyone. Story time about why my aunt put me back into foster care. Yes, she put me back into foster care. So a little background information, I was 15 years old and a sophomore in high school. But whenever I was 12 years old, I was in a very abusive household and I had two younger sisters. One was 11 and the other one was nine. Fast forward, all of us were put into foster care. I got placed into many shelters slash group homes because of my behavioral issues. While I was going through all of this, my sisters were both in study homes, so that kind of sucked. I mean, I was happy for them, but at the same time, I was going through hell. But eventually, my grandma and my dad passed away, so my aunt decided that she wanted my sisters and I. So she got her foster license, and the days leading up to whenever we were supposed to move in with her were absolute garbage. There was this one girl who was 19 years old. Her and I did not get along, and I was supposed to leave that Wednesday, but I didn't want to wait, so I decided that I was going to get myself kicked out in hopes that I would be able to move in with my aunt sooner hey guys as you already know going into any form of self-employment or even opening a business can be very discouraging especially in the beginning it could make you question um your investment is it worth it are you going to make your money back and failure is mostly our biggest fear during that time so i just wanted to share a fast-forwarded version of my journey when i went in the nails full-time I didn't have no money saved. I, a friend of mine was paying my book for me. And I made a promise to them that, because I was so, so thankful, I made a promise to them that once I started making money, I would pay them back. So the first point of me would be, um, most times it would be very good if you have support, but if you don't, it'll still work itself out. Um, and my friend paid the boot, paid the boot, paid the boot. But at the location that I was, I realized that I wasn't growing. So I had to switch locations. So sometimes you have to switch locations. And then I had to strategize and come up with a special to, you know, wheel the people in and gain more experience to get better at my craft. So I did just that. I switched locations and I started a special and that was where I blew up. It was the $20 special with a free design and that's how classy nails became classy nails hey y'all so i have a story time my first bad experience with a client okay so i have this client she's a new client i've never done her nails before and she brought in this inspo pick which was okay i mean it really wasn't my style of how i do nails but i i'm not gonna turn her away for that so the day comes she gets there um and i welcome her in and automatically the vibes are off she like she's not talking 
um, I'm asking like, how are you? Like no response. And it just felt like really awkward. <sighs> Anyways, uh, time goes on. I finished her nails. Um, I asked her, hey, like, is everything good? Do you like your nails? She said, yes, everything's cool. She pays me and then she leaves. So tell me why, like 10 minutes later, sh I hear a knock at my door and I go into the door and she's there and she's like, I want a refund. I don't like my nails. And I was like, oh, like, what don't you like about them? Um, what can I fix? Can I fix anything to make them how you want them? And she's like, well, my friend told me they're crooked and I just don't like them. So I asked her to point it out to me and she really didn't point it out to me. She would just constantly tell me I want my refund. So I offered to sit her down and try to fix anything that she doesn't like. I ended up taking the crystals off that she had and um, she's constantly just telling me like she wants her refund. And I was trying to explain to her that, hey, like I did this full set on you. I did. I used all these crystals on you and now I can't. It's not like I can reuse this stuff, you know. So she's just in my ear about refund, refund, refund. And I could just tell it wasn't going anywhere. So I gave her the refund and you know she left but honestly i feel like she played me but anyways uh what would you do in this situation also the client on this video is not the same client but her nails turned out so cute hey everyone i'm doing my nails today so one time i had to block this girl because after she sent like 20 pictures asking for a quote and i kept giving her prices for all the different pictures and then she just kept sending more it was like non-stop and i don't have all day to be giving quotes and pricing each and every picture it's not like just looking at a picture and throwing you a price. I have to go and calculate everything that it has and add it together. So I told her if she had a budget, she could just tell me so that I wouldn't have to be going through all these pictures, pricing them individually. And I could just tell her what she could get within her quote. Keep in mind, all the pictures she was sending me were like 80 and above. So she texts back saying her budget is only $60. I was like, what am I going to do with that? So she asked, well, what can I get for $60? And I was like, the color? You can get a color for $60. But she still had the audacity to book an appointment and show up to her appointment, right? So I asked her what color she had picked and she chooses this one color. I could just feel a bad vibe as soon as she walked in. Fast forward, I finished her nails. She tried telling me that if she could go to the ATM real quick because she didn't bring cash. I was like, no ma'am. I was like, no ma'am, you're a new client. I don't know you, I don't trust you. And I told you it was gonna be $60. You should have been more prepared. Besides, I take card payment and Zelle. She had this annoyed look on her face, which I expected. So she eventually zells me the money and leaves, but that's not the end of it. I should have trusted my gut feeling about her because after she left, she sent me this horrible message saying that I had a horrible attitude and that the nails were horrendous and that they were ugly and that she wanted her money back. I was like, oh my God, how rude. And I just blocked her as she was typing. The whole time, I think she just wanted to come get her nails done for free because they were a basic color set. They were not horrendous. Like, how could that be horrendous, okay? I even took a picture of them, to, and I posted it. She done lost her mind asking for her money back. Hey, hey. So today we have another new client. She's my only new client today, and I'm excited. Um, nervous, excited? but I'm excited. And I'm using new microphones, new camera, new everything. I'm really nervous and I hope this sounds good um, because I had issues with the other ones. So by the time you guys see this video, you've already seen the other video where I'm complaining about it. Um, but hopefully this doesn't get messed up. I'm gonna go out and get her because she's already here and then we're gonna get started. Have a seat, that's your chair right there. I'm excited for your nail set today. Me too. I actually just did this set um, not even too long ago, I swear. And it came out so freaking pretty. Okay, I'm checking you in. Love it. I saw your message like five minutes late and I was like, God, because I was setting everything up. And I'm sorry it's a mess in here, okay? Because like, I know I did Memorial Day shopping and I'm putting up a whole bunch of new stuff in here. I'm like, it smells good in here. Thanks, girl. All right, let me pull these up real quick. So we're doing these? Yes. Um, the one that's, that you sent me, the same colors and everything? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then with this shape, do you want the coffin shape or like this? Or do you want like a more squared set? Um, what are you in the mode for? I prefer the coffin on this one. Um, yeah, coffin? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then these are the colors right here. Mm -hmm. It's not like super identical, but it's as close as I could get. Are you okay yeah, with that? Yeah, good. Okay, cool. 
Where did you find me on social media? Well, I saw you on TikTok and I was like, oh my God, like, like Stop. I loved your energy and I was like, oh my God, San Antonio. Girl, I was like, yes. I live there. 210, 210. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me see you real quick. Let me see your monos. Your, oh my God, you have the smallest, prettiest freaking nail beds ever. Where do you normally go to get your nails done? Well, I haven't got them done in like forever, but I just go to like random salons. Nail salon? Clocked out. Like I didn't even check my messages or anything until I got back. No, you're good, girl. I understand. Your lashes are so pretty. Thank you. Would you believe me? They're just a strip. Yeah, I'm graduating. These are my graduation nails. These are your graduation nails? Yeah. Stop it. Not you graduating already. What are you doing with your life? What are the plans? <laughs> Fill me in. I need to, to know. I'm going to college um, for kinesiology. Basically to become like a physical therapist. Okay. Um, I love that you immediately told me what that was because I was like, <laughs> blank, like I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know. But yeah, because um, right now I'm just a student trainer. And I don't know what to do after that. So I'm like, physical therapist is like the closest thing. I'm already proud of you, girl. Like just going to college alone. You're not going to take any breaks. You're going to go straight to college. Yeah. That's exactly what you should do, girl. Because if you take a break, you're not going to want to go back. All right, babe. I'm going to cut your cuticle sets and everything. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So how long is your course? Um, eight years. Ew. <laughs> Clearly, I don't like... No, I love school. Don't get me wrong. I love school. But eight years? That is super long. I know. But if you love it, it'll be worth it. We'll see. We'll see. You'll, you'll have to keep filling me in whenever you start doing... Are you dating anyone? Oh, Jesus. What happened? Oh you don't need to tell me if you don't want to. I'm like, no, this is... It's going to bring us closer. Um, that's the only thing I want <laughs> right now when I get ready with the acrylic and all that stuff um, do you want me to get you something to drink because that way I don't have to get up anymore I have everything for you guys like I can't give you no wine babe <laughs> sorry but um, I have coke and dark pepper and water and spray and I think I have Fanta what's your favorite drink just water. Okay, we'll do water. What's your favorite music? Because I'm about to change the music. Anything. I like... What do you jam to the most? Like old school music. Probably... Damn, I don't even know. What's your playlist on your phone? There's gotta be something, girl. Something you jam to all the time. All like... The time. I'm like, right now it's just been sad songs, but... No! <laughs> I have a breakup playlist on my Spotify. Don't get me started. I'm a diamond, not a piece of glass. Break my heart, you can kiss my ass. Walk away like I never knew ya. Got a new man, what's it to ya? I'm a diamond, I'm a diamond. I'm a diamond, not a piece of glass. Walk away like I never knew ya. Got a new man, what's it to ya? Oh, oh, oh.